Hello everyone and welcome to Traditional Sign Painting with me, The Lighthead. Today I'm going to be painting, or trying to paint, some 3D lettering. So for today's font I've picked Fruitager, a classic block style lettering with a lot of character. The paints I've used for today are Ronan's Process Yellow and Ronan Process Blue. Oh yeah, I also used some lettering black in there too. I'd actually saw this really neat shading effect and I remember seeing it quite a while back and it involved uh, like a line shading. Instead of traditional blending, it uses lots of lines to give the optical illusion that it's actually blended. And when you stand back and you look at it, the two colours almost seem to merge together. So I'm going to try and do that today. So first of all, let's start off with the original layering. So let's grab the process yellow and chuck on maybe one or two coats. Now the idea for this particular video came from one of the viewers. And as always, if you get some ideas of your own that you think would make a great video, I'd love to hear from you, so make sure to put it in the comments below. And I'll go through it, and if I see something that I think I might be able to do, then I'll do it. Of course, if you have your own work, I do provide an email address below, and I'd love to see what you come up with. So now that the yellow lettering's all on, I'm going to second or maybe even third coat this off camera and then we'll come back and we'll do the blue. Now this is the first blue we're going to be putting on, I think this is the process blue. Uh, this one's a Ronan colour as well, but I found this blue to be particularly good to write. Now 
Now we only want to be doing the side shading for this part. We have a separate blue that we're going to mix up that's going to go underneath. Now all I've done for this video in order to give the shadow effect is just mix a little bit of lettering black in there. Now I'm not too worried about the edges at this point. I know that I've still got to do a black outline around the lettering and that's really going to hide a lot of the imperfections at the joins. And that black outline is going to make it really sharp.
once the overall shapes are down, we're going to try and do our line blend. Now truth be told it was my first time doing something like this. So as you could tell I kind of did the shading in a few places that I didn't really need to. And once I stepped back I kind of realised what I did and I'm going to have to remove a lot of these later. Once again I didn't really have a picture to follow, I was only really going from memory and what kind of looked right. But I think we got there in the end. Now the blues did only require one coat, whereas the yellow did actually require three in the end. With the shading looking a little more natural, this is really starting to come to life. Now at this section I'm trying to test out a brand new brush that I bought, although I kind of knew already before I started that it would be too small. I really wanted to get a feel of it, plus it's, it's brand new so I had to try it. After about a minute or so I did decide to go back to my standard brushes. The longer haired brush would have been a great idea for something like this had it just been the right size. Maybe even a number four or something might have been better. Definitely something I'm going to look into in the future. Oh, that looks so cool. Really proud of this one. And I was a little worried how it would turn out too. Often when you jump into something new, it kind of doesn't really work out how you'd expect it to. But this is looking nice. Now the design is just something that I chucked together on computer. If you guys want to try something like this at home, I can even provide the vector artworks and maybe you can make a drawing up for that and then show me what you come up with.
And there we have it, 3D lettering. So proud of how this turned out. If you see anything here that you think I could have improved on or maybe even some greater ideas for the shading, I'd love to hear it. I've got some real helpful tips from you guys in the past. Thanks again for joining me. I've been Lewis the Letterhead. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that I've got coming out. And hopefully you'll find a lot of value in them. And until next time, bye bye.